Dozens of alleged street dealers and other criminals are brought into court. They are at the lowest level of the drug trade. For years, Guyana has been either forgotten or ignored by the rest of the world. But now, narcotics have put it on the map. Guyana is a drugs crossroad. Cocaine from Colombia and Venezuela passes through here on its way to West Africa and the Caribbean and onto markets in Europe and the U.S. Here in the anti-narcotics unit headquarters, we were shown the latest drugs confiscated. Seven kilograms of cocaine were soaked into these clothes. There were also some drugs found inside these cardboard separators. And three kilograms of pure cocaine, worth about $300,000 in the streets, were hidden here in this false bottom of the suitcase. There were also greeting cards destined to Canada and England. And when you actually open the greeting card, you find 23 grams of cocaine worth about $5,000 in the streets of Europe and North America. In fact, here in Guyana, there is a saying that the only thing drug lords have not put cocaine into is the national anthem. <laughs> Guyana's mafia organizations have become the international middlemen. They sell drugs for almost twice what they pay for them. An underfunded police and thousands of kilometers of unpatrolled borders make it difficult to combat the drugs trade. You see, these people have lots of money, and so they can pay you five or twenty times the amount of money you work for, for you to facilitate their operations. But the government is fighting back. A quarter of the anti-narcotics police was fired after corruption allegations, and a new anti-drugs chief has been named. I am concerned about my safety, but um, I take adequate precautions. In his first ever media interview, he asked us to hide his face because the drug lords have a bounty for anyone that brings them his picture. He showed us the lavish homes where they live openly. That's the home of Ricardo Rodriguez on your right. This is the home of Mr. Barry Dataram. We are trying to extradite him to the United States and he's currently in hiding. The mafia here enjoys its wealth at parties and trips around the country. Singh says even the owner of the latest shipment of cocaine to Canada is free in Guyana. The reason? His unit lacks the necessary means to arrest him or other drug barons. And no one has been convicted in his country for drug trafficking. But he has a plan. Starting with raids on drug houses in poor neighborhoods, he hopes to gain the community's trust and cooperation that will eventually lead to the big fish. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Guyana.